Um, as far as um, the vaccination campaigns are concerned, where are we with the vaccination com campaigns? Are we frustrated or not frustrated? I would say that frustration is probably not a, a word in, in, in our vocabulary here. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the Commission already mid-October announced uh, recommendations or adopted recommendations to help member states with the preparation of the vaccination. It contained very practical recommendations on, for instance, identifying in time the priority group on making sure the infrastructure is ready, on making sure there are sufficient resources, and so on. And this has been followed up by member states. We are talking with member states about it. The ECDC has made um, a first assessment of, of the situation already a few weeks ago and is continuing to follow this. Let us not forget that this is an extremely complex um, um, process. This is an, a, a pandemic we have never, ever seen uh, in, 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 in the history of the European Union. So this is a very important complex undertaking and we are in contact with the member states to uh, make sure that this this vaccination is very complex uh, uh, campaigns can take place as well as possible uh, as far as the um, uh, recognition or rather the um, authorization of the astrazeneca uh, vaccine is concerned and whether there is any frustration with regard to EMA, there is of course no frustration with regard to EMA. We have always said that it is fundamental that the vaccines that are distributed to our European citizens are safe and effective. And secondly, that we can convince our European citizens of the importance of having this vaccination. And this is why member states and the Commission are all of the opinion that it's very important that the vaccines are assessed by the European Medicines Agency, an independent agency of scientists who are extremely well placed to assess effectiveness and quality. And this is exactly what EMA is doing. EMA has sped up its processes, for instance, by applying rolling reviews. Rolling reviews basically means that before companies introduce a request for a vaccination or vaccine authorization, that they can already, before that stage, submit data which may become available. This allows EMA to already assess these data before the official submission of a market authorization request, and it helps EMA do a much faster job as soon as the um, um, uh, request is introduced by the company. Of course, the important step that has to be taken as well is that the company has to uh, submit a um, an, an, uh, market authorization request. And in that context, I refer as far as AstraZeneca is concerned to a press release that is, has been published by EMA a few days ago, in which they explain the state of play of this file and the additional information that they have requested from this company. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I see many hands raised, so let us try to be concise.